welcome. This is the scripture takeaway with the sweet pea. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So, let's talk about water of life. The water of life. From the beginning to the end of the Bible, we see the theme of refreshment and nourishment that water brings. Hallelujah. The river that watered the Garden of Eden in Genesis 2, 10 to 14. The people who found living water at wells, I'm talking about Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, Genesis 21, 22 to 33, Genesis 26, 18 to 25, talking about springs in the desert. Haggai in Genesis 16, 4, horses in the wilderness, Exodus 15, verse 22 to 27. Psalm 1 talks about a righteous man being like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Matthew 3, 13, Jesus Christ was baptized in water. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 4, we see the river of the water of life flowing by the throne of God. In today's inspiration, Jesus Christ talks about the water that he only can give. The inspiration will be drawn from the book of John chapter 4, verse 4, and it reads, But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Now let's break down the key parts. The first part says but. But is a contrasting word. Jesus Christ, um, seeing that they were sat near Jacob's well and having a conversation. So he needed the woman to know, the Samaritan woman to know that the water he was talking about was different from the one she was trying to fetch from. The second part says, whoever drinks the water I give them. Jesus Christ gives eternal life. He gives peace. He also and gives the Holy Spirit. He alone has the cup of salvation and he hands it out. When he holds out the cup of salvation for you to drink from, you better collect it and drink. And that is the only way you can secure your eternal life. The third part says, will never thirst. Now, once you are saved, you will have all you need to fill the void, the hunger, the thirst in your heart. If you ever feel that thirst again, you have to go back to your faith in Jesus Christ and remind yourself that you have all that you need by faith. Praise God. The fourth part says, indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring welling up. A spring welling up. Praise God. We may begin as a tickle. So as you grow and mature in your relationship with God, you begin to flow. You know, you grow enough to teach. You grow enough to admonish. You grow enough to encourage. You grow enough to make, you know, you grow enough to make disciples. The, the water of life starts to spring forth from you. Hallelujah. You disciple. The fifth part says to eternal life. This is the ultimate. Hallelujah. From the very first time you drink of the living water, you are set for eternal life. Once you have a drink from Christ, your life is transformed. Once you drink of the water of life, your life is you know, changed, renewed. Eternal life is set in motion for anyone who collects the cup from Jesus Christ and drinks from that living water. If you haven't drank from the living water, today is the day for you. I want you to put your hand in your, on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I pray in the name of Jesus that you have mercy upon me. I open up my heart and I drink of the living water that only you can offer, that I may be satisfied in Jesus' name. And thank you so much and God bless you. Bye.